Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today I'm going to talk to you about recently one of my favorite beer distributing companies. Tavor. So if you already haven't heard of the company Tavor, uh, I'm going to try to explain who they kind of are a little bit today. Um, I've mentioned them a few times. I've had, you know, had three or four videos with them or said something about them. Um, so yeah, they are an awesome, awesome company, I think. They're doing something that no one else really kind of is. And I'll explain how. So what is Tavor? Well, lightly put, it's an app where you buy beer. That's actually exactly what it is. Oh. Anyways, all you have to do is go to your local app store, Apple Play, Google Play, whatever it's called now these days, uh, and you find Tavor and you click Tavor. You create an account, uh, that'll then log you in, and right away it says, hey, wanna buy this beer? No. Okay, well let's go to the next one. Wanna buy that beer? No. Let's go to the next one. Wanna buy that beer? Nope. Now, that sounds pretty normal. It's like, oh, it's just shopping for beer. No! The cool thing about it is, when you sign up, it finds your general area and all the breweries that are in your general area and says, hey, we're not gonna sell you these beers. We're gonna sell you beers that are not around you, that you can't find at your local bottle shop. All of the places that are far away that you've always heard of and you wanted to beer trade for, but then you were like, oh, I gotta ship beer and talk to some stranger on some weird forum, I don't know. Or it's costing me more money. I don't care about packaging. What if it breaks? I feel bad. What if someone's shipping me? All of that goes away. You get to find rare beers and good beers too. They cut through the mess for you. They pre-rate everything for you. They go and only have the best premium beers that you want. A lot of the beers you see on this show, I have purchased from Tavor. So the good people over at Tavor asked me to express how awesome their company is that you can get beers from the largest to the biggest to the smallest breweries all across the nation. And you're not gonna be inundated with local breweries that are around you because let's be honest, you can just go drive there and pick it up. I still support that, that's great. But I wanna be part of the beer culture that's sampling all of these beers that I've heard of for a long time. Now to prove this, Tavor went and sent me a box to say, hey, look what we can do, look what we ship out. This is just a sample of what we offer. So I think we should take a look and see what they have. And then at the end, maybe you guys tell me which ones to review in the comments below. So let's check it out. Oh, I got a note. Two hops and brews from Tavor. Cheers. We hope you enjoy your brews. Oh, this is cool, this is cool. They asked me to do this, and then they gave me a promo code that you all can get $10 off. So if you use hops and brews as your promo code, the, you know, it'll be around here somewhere. Uh, you'll get $10 off your first purchase. Oh, that's awesome. But first off we have Sea Pine Hethelweizen Ale. So that's, that's great. Never even heard of this brewery. This beer comes in at a 5.7% ABV, a 14 IBUs. It gets an average rating on an untapped of 3.72. We have Wind Ridge Cider Company, Honey Lavender. That's the other cool thing. You get ciders too, it's not just beer. I've gotten ciders, I've gotten meads from them. It's a fantastic company, trust me. Check it out. This cider comes in at a 6% ABV, 8-0 IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 3.78. Right. Coco Booney, a milk porter. Yeah. From Athens, Georgia. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get this. Toasted coconut and coffee nib. This beer comes in at a 6.8% ABV, a zero IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 4.11. Oh man, this, ah, oh, another cider. Wind Ridge Cider Company, again. Apples and oranges hard cider, freshly pressed. 6%. 
This cider comes in at a 6% ABV, a zero IBUs. It gets an average rating on an untapped of 3.56. Oh, Weld Works Double Dry Hop Juicy Bits IPA. Where is Weld Works from? I know they're from Colorado. Ain't getting that stuff around here. Oh, Citra Mosaic Eldorado. This beer comes in at a 6.7% ABV. A 59 IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 4.30. All right. Noble Apple Pie Hard Cider. Where's this coming from? North Carolina. Woo wee. Yeah, no way I'm getting this here. Again, this is awesome type stuff. A, a lot of ciders. Wild Minds Ale. Die Dreaming. Smoothie style sour ale with orange milk. And pineapple. Dude, that's cool. Check out that. Wisconsin. Check out that can art. That's cool. I like it. This beer comes in at a 6% ABV, a zero IBUs. It gives an average rating on untapped of 4.20. All right. Ooh. When House Brewing. Dry hop the big spills pills. See, that's the other thing too. It's not just like IPAs and everything. You got Pilsners, I got Hefeweizens, I got Ciders, all types of beers. The other thing too is they don't inundate you daily with stuff. It's just, hey, here's three beers a day. That's it. This beer comes in at a 4.7% ABV, a zero IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 3.80. I got a few more. Morning Timber Breakfast Stout Blueberry. Ooh. Johnson City, New York. Again, I'm, I'm on the other side of the nation. I'm getting New York brews that I've never even heard of. This beer comes in at a 9% ABV, a 30 IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 4.16. All right. We got Cloud Curtain by Mountain Walking Brewery. Their double dry hop Nelson Sauvin Oped Whipped Double IPA. Oh, I've had this before. And where I got it from was Tavor. I remember liking it. This beer comes in at 8.5% ABV, a 20 IBUs. It gets an average rating on an untapped of 4.19. Mm, oh, two more, two more, not too much. <gasps> I just love the can art. Kong Double Hazy IPA Barrel House Brewing Company. Check a look at that. Awesome. If you are any kind of retro gamer, nerdy type person, you're gonna love this. This beer comes in at an 8.2% ABV, a 10 IBUs. It gets an average ring on untapped of 3.99. And the last one is, ooh, another Mountain Walking Sweets. Sour ale with blueberry, lemon, vanilla, and lactose. This beer comes in at an 8% ABV, a five IBUs. It gets an average rating on an untapped of 4.11. Now this is just a sample of what Tavor has for a range of beers that are not offered around me. And if you live in one of these states, they probably offer you a lot of different stuff that I can't get. I have friends who are on Tavor saying, hey, did you get this beer yet? Did you see this one that got put in? I'm like, no, because I don't live by you. And the great part is it's not just like Amazon or some shopping cart where it's just inundated with tons. No, there's only three beers a day that get released and they notify you, hey, do you want this? It's gonna sell out fast. It's a first come, first serve process. So yeah, you gotta be ready to pounce on buying that beer because it goes fast. And once you buy so much, you become part of the super secret stash. Then you can get those special you know, triple bourbon barrel aged beers releases that are like 19% that are imported from Alaska like two days before everyone else does. Because so, they know, hey, you're one of our top customers. Which I am. So yeah, a reminder, check out Tavor. I honestly think 
what they are doing is an amazing thing. Also, Tavor, no matter what you purchase, the amount you purchase, shipping is always the same cost, a reasonable $15. That means if you use my promo code Hops and Brews, you're going to be only spending $5 on shipping. Or that's basically like a free beer or two free beers, depending upon which ones you get. A lot of times they do the whole package of like $7.99 for two beers. And you worked out, it's like, okay, that's 50 cents, maybe more than what I would pay here normally. But it gets delivered to me and you get to push back the shipping date all you want. It's an amazing app, an amazing company. Um, they're still relatively, relatively new, but man, they do great, great work. I highly recommend checking them out. So if you are kind of bored of what is offered at your local bottle shop, um, gas prices are getting kind of high right now. So traveling over there is kind of expensive in itself. And you're always jealous of all of your friends posts from Reddit or social media that are saying, hey, check out this beer I'm having from this company. Check out Tavor. See if they're in your area and we'll distribute to you. And then you can be part of the cool kids. See you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links for those will be at the very bottom of the description. That's where you'll also find that promo code. That's gonna get you $10 off your first $25 purchase of Tavor. Hops and brews, it's, I mean, it's great. Wow. That's what you're looking for, right? Hops and brews. So just use that, you'll know it. So do that. Leave a comment or two down below. Have you ever used Tavor? Are you a member? Are you not a member? Let me know if you've just signed up just from this video. Thanks guys, see ya.